Hi, I'm Jonathan Metter, and we're here in Pico America's service department with new products for the month of May 2021. We're going to get started today with a starter set. And of course, a lot of folks get started with that way, uh, tens of thousands of people, in fact. And you may even say, looking at this Pennsylvania starter set, that this looks kind of familiar from years ago. And you'd be right in many ways, but there are some neat new features on this starter set. It's got a new item number and some cool new things about it. So we're going to take a look in just a moment, open it up, and show you what's new about this starter set. All right, we've got our set out of the box and on the track. Of course, the set comes with a four-foot circle of Pico track and... We only make one quality of track. That's the best on the market. We don't make a cheap track for starter sets. Every piece of track in a starter set is good for years and years outdoors as well. So uh, I think you'll be glad to hear that. And we've got the locomotive and the two cars. Got to have a caboose at the end of the train. And the locomotive has a couple of nice new features. And that includes the uh, metal screw style uh, crank pins that hold the side rods on and the valve gear. And it has traction tires on two wheels. That will give you greater pulling power. And those are features that are now standard on any new starter set this year, as well as on any uh, new locomotive that's uh, sold separately. I think you'll appreciate those. So, of course, the big new feature of this starter set is the RC remote control with a little pocket remote. Uh, that's a keychain style, fits easily in your pocket. It has uh, eight selectable channels, so you can have several different tracks, and each person can be the engineer of their own train. And the little RC controller uh, just hooks up to the transformer and to the track. That has a range of a good 60 or 80 feet, so plenty big for uh, indoors or out. And it's very simple to operate. Uh, up and down buttons mean forward and reverse, and nothing could be simpler. Just give the button a few clicks, and you're off and running. And a starter set is definitely not the only thing we have to show you this month. Plenty of other cool new items. Many of you have been following and purchasing our Vintage Warbirds series of cars. These are hopper cars decorated with beautiful original photographic artwork uh, as only Pico can do. And of course they're celebrating the greatest generation and the planes that they flew. Uh, first up for this month is the Douglas SBD Dauntless. That uh, was a dive bomber airplane. And then the other car along with that is uh, celebrating the North American B-25 Mitchell bomber. And we even had a, a, one of our retailers that mentioned to me recently that his father had flown a, a similar a B-17 uh, bomber and he had gotten to, a chance to go inside one. And he was just amazed at how cramped those quarters were. And this was not luxury uh, air travel. Uh, these, these men did incredible things, uh, so great to celebrate them, and everybody seems to love these. And shifting gears, we're heading out to the Old West uh, with another popular series, if you will. Uh, we've had some Union Pacific passenger cars before, and they've all sold out. Uh, so we have two new cars uh, in the series, and there are two other new cars coming soon. Uh, right now we have another new combine car, and that one is uh, named for the Platte River, uh, something famous along the Union Pacific Overland Route. And we have a uh, very nice uh, drover's caboose with the lighted marker lamps and metal wheels. Of course, both of those have uh, doors that open, slide open and closed. And I think both of those are going to be a great addition if you've got some of the Union Pacific cars already and couldn't find these cars which have been gone for quite a while so we've got new car numbers and names. Uh, did I mention that the uh, Drover's Caboose is, is lettered for Sherman Hill, certainly one of the most famous spots on the Union Pacific Railroad. And bouncing back across the country to the east we arrive at the Pennsylvania Railroad, and we had a Pennsylvania Railroad mogul uh, for many years in the product line, actually up until recently, and uh, it was time for something new and fresh. So uh, what's new is, is something in a more old-fashioned style uh, with the big balloon smokestack 
and a wood load in the tinder. Uh, and of course it's got a beautiful paint scheme uh, reminiscent of the famous Pennsylvania Railroad uh, Tuscan red, the, the dark mineral red, uh, with also hints of the, uh, the Brunswick green that was also famous on the Pennsylvania Railroad. And of course this, uh, this locomotive does not disappoint with the features either. It's got a great sound system as well as lights and smoke. So we're going to get all those started and give it a little, uh, little test run. And of course we've got to have uh, the bell ringing when we pull out of the station. And a couple of toots on the whistle. Of course, none of our videos could be complete without a uh, photo run by. And we've got a very interesting mixed train today. Uh, you probably won't see that on anybody's railroad, but hey, it's your railroad if you want to mix all those, uh, those cars together with that locomotive. More power to you. Well, thanks for watching and enjoy your Pico trains.